another question here from <coughs> Lord of Sporks. Lord of Sporks says, Robbie or Carrie, I was wondering if you could explain if or how one can get into making a website. I've never done it before, um, and I don't know how to code if there's any easy options out there uh, for us website newbies. Do you sure. have any information for Lord of Sporks? Essentially, because you've never done it before and you don't know uh, like HTML code and things like that, I'm going to um, start you out with saying you, sh you should get into either a content management system like Joomla that's going to take care of all the uh, front end stuff for you. That's probably a, a really easy bet if you can get that set up. Or if you want to code it yourself, you can use a Weissawig or what you see is what you get uh, type editor. For Linux, there's one called NView. Uh, net2.com slash nvu. That's going to bring you there. And this software, probably available through Synaptic. I'm not 100% sure. But this is like a, a what you see is what you get editor for uh, cross-platform use. Uh, but essentially, that will allow you to create a site. But I would say, if you can, look at a package like Joomla. And we've looked at it on, on previous episodes of Category 5 Technology TV. If you've seen our website at Category5.tv, it's based on Joomla. So it, it makes things easy because I don't have to worry about s so much about the front end. I do because I tweak things and stuff like that, and I am a bit of a, a PHP dev. But, uh, but for you, it gives you the chance to just use a template and then just enter things in such a way that it's, it's kind of like a, uh, a web-based version of a word processor. So it just makes things really easy. For example, if I log into Joomla on my system, so this is our site. So once I log in, as the administrator, now I can go into my content items here, and I can create a new content item. And for that content item, you'll see that it will, and we're using a ton of bandwidth here, so things are a little slower than usual on the web. It's going to give me a little, uh, basically like a, a word processor style editor. So I can start typing away here. I can use things like, you know, bold, underline, and, and simple things like that. And you can add images. You can do stuff like that. But the advantage to using a content management system is that the actual design of the site stays consistent throughout. You don't have to think about uh, the code that goes into that. And you can download free uh, templates, uh, like the actual designs for your site. Or you can go somewhere like Rocket Theme. And they're a great place to be able to buy commercial themes as well. If you want to take it further than that, let me know. But maybe pop a question to, uh, to me through the website. Uh, if you have any development experience whatsoever, uh, then that's, that could help you. But maybe that'll point you in the right direction, I hope. I, got, I, got, I have a confession. Huh? The reason I didn't take any business courses other than typing in high school was I was scared they were going to make me create a website. Oh, yeah? I just thought, that is way too hard. But that, that looks OK. You know, yeah, it's not maybe bad. I'll try one out. It's really great. Like Since I've been using a content management system, it just makes things so much easier when it comes to maintenance. Mm. So if I want to change something on my site, I just basically open that content item. I don't have to edit the code and stuff. And I do, but you wouldn't have to. So you don't need to learn code to use something like Joomla. Okay.